This case is about a man that you probably already know, at least by reputation, Mr. Travis Reed. I got here as soon as I could, sir. and the fright to me went off. When all I miss. I'm still an opening statement. This guy's been going for a while. He's doing that proxy charm thing, and the jury is eating it up. Now, serving as a juror in a medical malpractice case isn't easy. I don't know about y'all, but I'm no doctor. Hell, I've barely made it through high school biology. So. <laughs> but you are going to get a crash course education in orthopedic medicine and post-operative infections. And you're going to hear words like pseudomonas and emboli. Don't let that intimidate you. The only thing that matters is the evidence. Those things are part of the evidence. What is he talking about? And the evidence in this case will focus on a 16-day period last spring. And during this time, we will establish that Dr. Torres agreed to perform a surgery she did not fully understand. We will establish that Dr. Torres made a series of faulty decisions eventually costing Mr. Travis Reed a thriving, healthy Olympic athlete, his legs. And we will establish that all of this started because of one careless mistake made in surgery. Implants in place, everything looks good. Now I just need to irrigate. This Harley just jumped to the 150s. Having trouble ventilating, increasing his oxygen, 100%. All right, could be a PE. We gotta get him off this table. All right, let's start closing irrigation, please. Wait, the sponge count is off. We're missing one sponge. Are you kidding me? We can't close it, just find it. Sir, are continuing to drop. Switch to the manual ventilation. All right, you know, it's gotta be on somebody's shoe or something. There's nothing in here. I'm gonna call for a portable x ray. No, that'll take too long. He could go into shock. He's dropped to 70 over 40. Go, 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 go. Are you sure you don't want me to call? No, okay. there's no time. All right, we're closing we them up. We can't do that. Well, you know, we have to. Lap pads. We still have to. I don't care. We're closing them up. Zero fight girl. Zero fight girl. Now. Now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you saying that Dr. Torres knew she left a sponge in Mr. Reed's body and she didn't care? No, of course she cared, but... No, but still... She knowingly left behind a spot. The patient was running out of time. He would have... Yeah, hun, hun, it's a yes or no question. Thank you. Did she knowingly leave a sponge? Yes. You know, I've got a, I've got a boy in college. Good kid. And I went to visit him last month. And you would not believe the sponge I found in this sink. I mean, there's no telling what was going on there. Objection. Thing. Irrelevant. Sustained. All right. Well, let's fast forward to the next time we saw Mr. Reed. About two weeks later. And how was he then? Was he good, happy, recovering well? He had an infection. Hi there. Travis, I hear you got quite the fever. Temps 103, I'm just starting his workup. He's burning up, he won't eat. I had to force him to come in. How are you feeling, Travis? I've seen worse. Dr. Torres, you want to take a listen to this? Yeah. Is that a murmur? Small one. Travis, I'm just going to take a look at your incision site, okay? Wow, what does oh wow mean? Whitney, I don't want you to worry. The wound looks a little infected, so we're just gonna go in and clean it all out, okay? Yeah. Okay, okay get him on the bank and Clinda stack. Call upstairs and or right now. Well, what about the murmur? Could the infection have traveled to his heart? His vitals are stable, so first we've got to clean out that joint, okay? We can't afford any delays. Okay, should I call Yang? All right, if she's not available in the next five minutes, she waits until post-op. We've got to get in there and kill this infection before it spreads any further. I am not turning an Olympic athlete into a doorstop. Yeah, the infection is going through the fascia down to the prosthesis. Get in here and irrigate before we move on. It's like there's pus in the acetabulum. Oh, damn it. No, there's no way to salvage the joint. I'm going to have to remove the whole thing. And just leave him with no hip? Not for now. It's the only way to get this completely cleaned out. Osteotoman mallet. Oh, that sounds pretty nasty. Post-op infections are very common. They happen all the time. Is that your professional opinion? It is. I see. And in your professional opinion, is it also common for a post-op infection to result in a double amputation? Does that happen all the time, too? 